Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho, back at you again with another video. So as you guys know on the channel, I mainly cover UK drill and street news, but from time to time I've covered American news as well, but where relevant or if I feel like a message needs to be shared with you guys and it's abroad, then of course I'll share the news. And if you see my community tab post last night and by seeing the title of this video, then you'll know that we need to head over to Australia to follow a couple of articles they've recently covered involving gangs in Melbourne. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I only know of a few Australian Australian drill rappers and of course one four I do follow it a little bit but not as much as New York drill for example but I do understand that yes like everywhere else around the world everyone has issues when it comes to gang violence I mean even if we go back not too long ago Chopper Reed probably one of the most craziest people to ever walk this planet was literally born in Melbourne Australia and if you've never heard of him you should definitely go and check his story out but on the topic of the video and I gotta give a shout out to my friend who sent me this but it does seem like it was sourced by the UK drill reddit so I will leave that reddit link down in the description if you want to go and check that out but it does seem as if a local newspaper in melbourne had run a news article titled who's who of Melbourne gangs. So the article reads, in the wake of an alleged murder of a 15 year old boy outside a church in Melbourne's west, police are set to clamp down on the city's violent youth gangs. At least 10 rival gangs use social media to taunt each other, organise street fights and recruit new members. Police are set to ramp up their fight against violent youth gangs after a teenage boy was stabbed to death outside a church in Melbourne's west. The Herald Sun can reveal tensions were brewing between rival islander gangs at BH Brotherhood and 97 in the days leading up to the alleged murder of Solomon Tafalungaki age 15. He was killed in an alleged gang attack outside the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Deer Park after leaving school on Tuesday. There are fears the gangs are arranging a fight in the suburb for Friday night following the fatal stabbing. Police are now considering launching an operation in response to a string of violent gang attacks. The move would allow suburbs to be declared a designated area, giving officers more powers to conduct weapon searches. This would mean that people could randomly be stopped and searched for weapons in the designated area, probably something like a section 60 over here in the uk it comes after another fatal gang attack nearby last december i got a case a 17 died in regent street st albans following a brawl at nearby kelia plain station in the early hours of december 22nd last year in that case a 15 year old accused of murdering the teen had been arrested and released nine times in the months prior to the attack it can be revealed the bh brotherhood and 97 gangs which both have dozens of members from melbourne's north and west were believed to be fighting and taunting each other on social media in the weeks leading up to Solomon's death on Tuesday night. The Herald Sun has identified at least 10 rival gangs who use social media, including Instagram and Snapchat, to organise street fights, host videos of the violence and recruit. In the past year, criminal youths have also been linked to liquor shop thefts and snatch and grab robberies at popular electronic stores. Gang members also use social media to brag about their weapons and post photos waving guns and knives. One mother who asked not to be named said her son had seen Snapchat and Instagram messages from the rival gangs planning fights and taunting each other in recent weeks. They always organise fights through social media, these gangs fight to claim their territory, but it's so stupid because it's over petty stuff, the mother said. I've now seen Snapchat messages that show a fight will be organised in retaliation at Deer Park on Friday night, it just needs to stop. In a recent Instagram post, the two gangs were believed to be running amok in Brimbank Shopping Centre just weeks earlier on June 2nd, with members from 97 posting photos of police chasing them, with one of the gang members writing, running from the boys in blue. In another post, dozens of 97 members, some with their faces covered, are seen posing doing the West Side sign. In a post by a BH Brotherhood's member on Instagram, there are several videos and photos of brawls in Melbourne's west and southeast between rival gangs. In one of the photos, the gang member is seen standing in front of a police car with his middle finger up with the caption, F the police. A Victoria police spokeswoman said police understood the fatal attack in Deer Park may cause concern to the public. We want to assure everyone that we are doing everything we can to ensure the safety of residents across the city of Brimbank and the city of Milton, she said. Police are engaging with friends, families, schools and community leaders who are known to the young people involved to alleviate tensions and ensure they're aware of the behaviour and the risks involved with any further violence. Over the next couple of days, frontline police will be proactively patrolling shopping centres and community locations to ensure people feel safe and are safe. 
police will be supported by public order response team, mounted branch, transit police and PSOs. So to the general public, they would pick this newspaper up and read it and think that someone has unfortunately died in a gang attack and it seems like there's a rise in youth gangs across the region. But the only issue is, is that the fact that someone on the research team thinks they must know about these gangs, maybe because they have access to some of their social media pages, which is fair enough. But the only issue that I have with this is that they've labelled the gang Young Reckless Drillers or Young and Reckless with a picture of the Harlem Spartans and for you guys who have never seen it is the unblurred picture that they've used and you can clearly see that some of the goats in the UK drill scene are in the picture. Now the funniest thing about this whole situation is they ran a similar story back in September of 2019 which I'm not going to be diving into but as you can see from the headline it reads violent youth gangs brazenly wreaking havoc across Melbourne. Violent gangs of teenage boys some only 14 are wreaking havoc across Melbourne suburbs with street brawls, intimidation, carjacking and terrifying home invasions. What makes them tick? An ex gang member has given an inside look. And if we scroll down, we can see that once again, they've used the picture of the Harlem Spartans with the caption, using social media to recruit is a common play. And to top it all off, they've also used CGM with the caption, youth gangs are recruiting members from Instagram. Now, unless Digger D is recruiting some Melbourne drillers, I just don't think that's the case now, is it? And it's literally a screenshot from Play for the Pagans. But as a reputable news outlet for Melbourne, you would have thought that they would have at least got someone to fact check if the pictures were actually of the people who represents these groups. But we do have to remember a middle aged person who's writing the article isn't really going to be in touch with what's really going on in the streets of Melbourne. So we just have to bear that in mind. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy 8 Poncho and I'm out.